Chirp, chirp, I am just another wild little Twitter bird here to deliver some awful takes that makes the world a horrible place. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> take that, you sack of poo. Nobody tweets on my watch. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, good evening, laddies, lasses, and lasses. Welcome to Click. We are here today to fix Twitter. Not really. We're just gonna laugh at really awful posts and takes that I have found on the interwebs. Hold on a second. What is that? It is Mango! Oh! Yes, indeed. Mongo is now back in stock. Oh my god, available for a very limited time only. Get yours today. He is a very beautiful bean, and you can do this. It's very nice. Get it today. Now, let's move on to the horrible tweets, shall we? You know, the good thing about making videos like this is that everything else in life seems like very nice and lighthearted in comparison. It's all about the contrast. Happiness through contrast. <laughs> this is my villain arc. Nintendo of America at Nintendo America. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Nothing feels better than the inside of a cat. Oh, mamma mia. <laughs> This tweet has been deleted. That is probably for the best. Dear God, does nobody proofread this stuff? Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Nintendo, if you wanted to create a hit tweet that's like a banger just because it went viral for all the wrong reasons, you're on the right track, fam. I tried. <laughs> An American. Okay, let's see now. Ireland. That is not Ireland. One of these has to be Iceland, but just like... Flippity floppity, are you even a place or are you part of Denver? <laughs> Sweden is Denver? Uh, well, that sounds like Danish though. It's basically, uh, blah, blah, blah. so that's pretty accurate. Maybe you're Italy? Poland? What? One of you is Sweden? What on earth are you? No, Hawaii? You're not even on the right continent. Oh, we got a little China down here. That's beautiful. Hell yeah. Australia. <laughs> do, you, do you think that? The rest of the world is just condensed in Europe? Is that is that what people think? Russia! <laughs> oh gee, Russia shrunk a bit. Adika, Spain and Brazil! <laughs> well, Spain and Brazil speak the same language, right? No, they don't. They don't even speak the same language. But but according to this person, they probably do. So that means they are next to each other. Makes sense. Stuart and Alvin, now you're not even trying. What is Greenland doing smack in the middle of Europe? Fam! Oh, wait, we have Ukraine down there to the left. Everyone knows Ukraine is in Africa. That's, that's just beautiful. According to this map, I wonder how this person thinks that the current ongoing conflicts in Ukraine is, like, physically possible or taking place. That just blows my mind. This is beautiful. As a white person, I have never said the N-word for any reason. I said it once, but it was to save a life. But even so, I think about my decision to do so every day. Oh, yes, indeed, those things that just happen on a regular basis. Do I say a racial slur, or do I let this innocent person die? Oh, the choices of a lifetime. This feels like a really bad knockoff on a Saw movie. And it's like, ha I locked your friend inside a cage, but you can save him. All you have to do is say the N-word. <laughs> the choice is yours, Timmy. <laughs> so either let your friend die or you get cancelled on Twitter. The choice is yours, you little shit. Number six, who cheats more, boys or girls? <laughs> it's males. Alrighty. Number ten, ever cheated before? <laughs> Multiple times. But you just, you just... But you're like, you're a living piece of statistics. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Don't worry, ladies. You are all amazing. I am just an outlier because I'm not like other girls. I am absolutely horrific. <laughs> is, that, is that the argument? That's beautiful. Mephus, be like milk is nasty, then be 5'4. You'll act like milk makes you grow, skull. I am 5'3, and I have literally had to go to the hospital for drinking too much milk. Bro got sent to the hospital by milk. I mean, most things will send you to the hospital if you have way too much of it. Like, you can literally die from water if you drink too much. It, it's very dangerous. This feels like some wild conspiracy that would come from, like, the equivalent of a Facebook mom group. I guess, like, an incel form where it's like, did you know that if you drink 10 liters of milk per day, you'll grow really tall? <laughs> don't, don't get hospitalized because of milk. NFTs grant unlimited riz. He is wrong. <laughs> Lol. I 
I just got my report card and I failed every class. If my parents see it, I'm in big trouble. I might never get to see Twitter again. Oh, what a travesty. Is that even a punishment? I got third at Traveridge and I might repeat eighth grade again. So wait a second, eighth grade? If I if I got the math right and if it's the same thing as in Sweden, that means you're like 13 or 14 years old. So you're basically a 13 year old sitting on Twitter talking about how NFTs have unlimited riz. I swear to God, being exposed to a 13-year-old's opinions regarding NFTs should be considered a war crime. My co-workers are talking about radical politics. <laughs> Guess I'll join in. Yeah, I got fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see why. Ding dong, okay, Taco Bell. Never mind, it's a sex shop. Ah, well, close enough, I suppose. I'm a bit bummed out, though, that they don't make tacos with rainbow-colored bread. That'd be amazing. Oh, can I make that? Is that a thing that exists already? I hope not. I mean, I hope it does, but if not, I'll make it. Five years on HRT. Look, and there's Hoppler, and there's... Oh, okay, okay, I see what did there. Update! JK Rowling's legal team just emailed me! I don't know where they got my email. Oh, good old Twitter. Never failed to disappoint because uh, the bar was really so low that you couldn't really be disappointing in the first place. Isn't that great? Korean chicken sucking and f***ing me so hard! Uh, what? whatever happened to it was just good? No, 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 that doesn't quite uh, excrefuliate how good. It actually was. Oh, yes, indeed. It's just... <laughs> My freaking cookie! Ah, la, la. <laughs> well, that's that's just very unfortunate, isn't it? Oh dear God! We don't do NFTs. If you see a cyanide and happiness NFT, that wasn't us. If you bought a cyanide and happiness NFT, you got scammed. Also, lol. <laughs> I don't know why you have to add the also lol at the end there. Shouldn't glorify vulnerable people being scammed. NFT bros losing money is funnier than any of our comics. Did the whole like the whole like grifting scene on Twitter is basically just a giant scam. It's a, it's a pump and dump scheme. The whole freaking thing. It's like a freaking I don't know pyramid scheme. If you slapped a monkey JPEG on it, it's not good. Call me Ben, cause all my bitches be ten. <laughs> no, no uh, ain't I don't mean it like that. It's like, it's like a ranking. If it's like you know how mango is a ten, like oh the most the most glorious plush you ever get your mango today. Ten out of ten. Oh, everyone would date a mango if they could. Platonically. Mari, quote retweet with you plus your flags. Oh my god, what are you? Uh, no clue where you're from, but I'm Indonesian. My favorite sexuality. Uh, fruity pebbles or cocoa pebbles? Bro, just DM them. One follower. Oh, oh, to be fair, the algorithm can push you out to new friends that might be super interested in answering your little question about beans. But probably not. Serious question. You're in a room with five dudes. How many peepees you choking on? <laughs> Bro, none? Uh, damn, you that good at it? Oh, I see, because because they're not choking on anything, so they really have the methodology down. That is quite impressive. This tweet was deleted by the tweet author, damn, you're that good at They deleted the tweet after the burn one got four likes. Oh man, Twitter is struggling today. I love seeing Twitter struggle. <laughs> Brings me some kind of sick joy. Might be an issue, but I am gonna revel in it. Why do white non-binary people act like being non-binary cancels out their whiteness? I am a starving child, starving to death, and this is the very last thing I have ever read. Goodbye. <laughs> nice! Is it just me? Or are so many of these, like, trendy outrage tweets about situations that I'm not really sure if they do happen. It's like if I make a tweet that's like, Oh my god, I am so sick of people pushing baby strollers into the streets. We need to stop people pushing baby strollers in the front of cars. And everyone's like, wow, yeah, it's so disgusting when people try to make babies and cars collide. It's disgusting, we need to stop this. And it's just like a scenario, like a shower thought argument I made up in my head just to, just to manufacture to be upset about. You know, it's like, did this even happen? Did, did it? Really, though? Imagine dragons. Our greatest fear is a kid getting made fun of for listening to our music. Well, I have some bad news. <laughs>
God, no. That seems like a weird worst fear. Like, to be honest, kids are absolutely awful. They'll make fun of someone for, for anything. And most of the time, in my experience with, with certain types of bullying and that kind of thing, it's not even about the tangible thing itself. If some bully has decided that someone is a target, they will find any reason to do it. It's like, it's like nitpicking in a way, if you will. So, I don't know. I think it's more about kids just being a little, little sociopath sometimes, rather than something specific. And kids can also be absolutely beautiful. It's such a weird mix, right? Like sometimes you see kids and you're like, oh my god, like the magic of childhood. And sometimes you see it like, oh my god, it's little demons. Monogamy is just relationship capitalism. <laughs> so we're just stringing together different words now, huh? Handshakes are just interpersonal feudal monarchies. <laughs> I do consider myself the king of the house. Indeed, Mungo, and you are my princess. Mwah. Relationship capitalism my god some things i read on twitter just makes me like instantly feel very tired <laughs> you know i just feel like a grumpy old man <laughs> what's the internet equivalent of like sitting on your ports with a shotgun and being like damn kids get off my twitter <sighs> that's how i feel sometimes i want more male friends that don't want to do the naughties yo <laughs> you've asked me to do it jiggle at least four times this week do it though <laughs> Oh yes indeed, upholding them traditional non-toxic masculine values. Heck yes, Twitter. You go. I was part of a self-harmy prevention support group when the year began and yesterday we lost another member. There were 18 of us and now there's only five rem- What? What are you talking about? Damn you all suck. What the frick? What- Do you mean that people like quit? Or do, or do you mean that the group is like doing the exact opposite to what it's supposed? That's horrible. What the hell? If you're struggling. It is perfectly okay, and it is perfectly okay to reach out for help. We do it all the time in society, right? If your car breaks down, you reach down to a mechanic, you don't try to fix it with a little plank in your own garage, unless you're kind of silly. If you have a leak in your house, you call a plumber. If you break a bone, you go to the doctor. If you have problems with your mental health, talk to someone, work on it. It is okay to reach out and it should be normalized because that's what we do with everything else that we struggle with. No one in the modern world does everything themselves and the notion that we should do everything ourselves when it comes to this very specific thing that is also very complex that is called mental health is simply silly. Um, hang in there, talk to someone, you can do it, we all believe in you. Twitter sucks. Don't go on Twitter, it will make everything worse. Write me an apology paragraph for a football defeat. Sure, here is one. I wish we could play a game today and try to put things right. The result is the result, and we can't see past that. We must not let it define our season. We have to trust the process and stick together. Marcus Rashford, I wish we could play a game today to try to put things right. The result is the result. No! Oh! Uh, I mean, we are reaching into a world, right, where everything is going to be replaced by AIs. I find that fascinating. If you think about the future, when AIs and algorithms start gaining more power, which is pretty basically already, will humans have a, like, severe identity crisis? Because, for example, take this very silly example, right? We could theoretically already, probably, make a dating app that gives you a 99% chance of having a perfect match, right? I think that's very possible as, as, as long as you have enough data, as long as you've been active enough on social media, as long as you've been able to gather enough data of you and your past and who you are, etc. I think that would be very possible. You could easily have a dating service that would match you together with someone who's 99% compatible. Would that give you an identity crisis? Because all of a sudden, an AI knows you better than you know yourself, or even your own family knows you. That's kind of a wacky concept, isn't it? And it's all basically just based on data, because an algorithm can find and process so much more data than the human brain can. The way we transfer data between ourselves is incredibly slow and inefficient. So, I don't know, I think humans will have like a quite a identity crisis in general. Like, humanity will have an identity crisis in the next few years, because stuff like this is getting so powerful. And uh, I don't know how to feel about it. I think on one hand it's inevitable, on one hand I think it's good to not be naive about it and recognize that a lot of things human do are quite predictable, but uh, I don't know, it's it's a wild world to see where it takes us. Yeehaw, baby, I'm gonna keep reading memes until I get replaced by an AI. <laughs> Short hair Cammy. We censoring armpits now? I am guessing because there's a lot of weird people on Twitter. Yeah, me, uncensor them. Oh, look at this person, haha. <laughs> Lol, sick people nowadays. <laughs> but it's the same person, isn't it? Okay, that's kind of funny, I like that. Not the armpit. But like the, the, the twist of the, that's fine, ha 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 ha. Trigger warning, showering. What? Why? Just why? Out of all the questions you could have asked, you decided to be ableist and anti-neurotypical. This is not funny, this is disgusting. Why do y'all never take showers? 
What do you what do you mean? What is going on? Oh, here is Mike, my favorite poo post account. Abluplophobia is the fear of cleaning yourself or bathing. It's a phobia that can immensely impact someone's life physically and negatively. Good on this person for putting a trigger warning like that, considering 90% of Twitter users seem to have this fear. <laughs> Sounds like a horrible thing to have, but like <laughs> God. Oh, okay. Alright. Elden Ring has zero plant physics. <laughs> if you want plant physics, you should go outside. At least real grass reacts when you touch it, not like your Elden Ring waifu. Real happiness is so close, but so far away. You know, the thing with Twitter is that I think a lot of people on Twitter not only would require to, like, touch the grassies, but I don't think they've ever even seen grass, if I'm gonna be honest. Literature NFTs will change the world. That is a PDF. You're describing a PDF. Are we getting to the point where PDFs are gonna be blockchainified? Great. Watching this German series, oh my god, I can't understand anything. Do you have the lyrics on? What do you mean? <laughs> Today we're watching this German film on Genius where they have lyrics at the bottom talking about how they came up with the lyrics. Every movie is a song in our hearts. Yes, but I don't know how to read. That's enough Twitter for today, said no one ever. Next post. Do you consider Russia the enemy? They bombed my house, so yeah. So sounds like you're making an emotional appeal. I asked you why they are considered the enemy. But that's that's literally what they answered, though. They answered the why, not even, not even emotionally. <laughs> you're just reiterating. And that wasn't actually the first question you asked. So you're both wrong about the initial question you asked. And you don't seem to be able to grasp their answer. Oh, that's amazing. Me! Me and who? No one. Your parents had you for tax benefits. Oh, my little achy breaky heart just absolutely imploded on itself. Cool shirts. We ran out of money for marketing. Can someone please write a mean reply to this tweet so we can clap back to it and go viral? Thanks. You make bad shirts. F you. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's a viral banger. <laughs> A culture, I, I I don't actually know what they do, but, you know, sponsorships and that kind of stuff, good, good, wow, yeah, there was no budget. Alright, but at least I read the, I read the meme, so that's good. I went from losing no one my whole life to almost ten people within a year. I don't know how much more I can take. Real ones stay and the fake ones leave. One thing you gotta remember, sis, heck yeah. They are freaking dead! <laughs> oh, oh, that's not, it's, mm, mm. So like, oh my god, this dear family member has passed away. Ah, oh, yes, yes, guess they weren't the real one. Woo! At Twitter. Wait, did our font change? Did our font change? I robbed your store. <laughs> How do you even react to that? Like, it's an anonymous Twitter account. It's gonna be really difficult to track, and most likely it's just a troll. I mean, okay, 50-50 that is a troll and, and actually real. Uh, but it's a very silly thing to write if it's real, because because some companies are really freaking petty and will go very far to, to seek you out, man. Power just died. <laughs> no spoilers, please. This isn't about CSM, I can't pay the bill. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the misunderstandings of life. You see, this is why AI will be so much more efficient. There won't be, like, communicative misunderstandings in this way. Humans suck at communicating, and Twitter is just the... Amazing proof of that. Oh, yes, indeed. Is that why Musky Husky bought Twitter? To, like, prove how inefficient people are uh, at, at communicating? And then in, like, a couple years from now, he will come out with this big data study of, like, Oh, my God, here's my new AI. And and here is how bad people are communicating. That's why AI good. I wouldn't be surprised if if that is the case. It's gonna be weird. Is that gonna be the case that I predicted accurately? Come back to this video in a couple years and check it out. All right, we got a little bit of a trigger warning here for, uh, for SA. Great. Child stuff, in my opinion, is okay if the child enjoys it to a degree, however, I don't think that's the case with adult R-words. I know this is a serious topic, especially for HHT, but thoughts? W or L? Leave your feedback below. Okay, I'm gonna judge from like the 31 likes and the 1,600 quote tweets, that's a nasty ratio, that uh, your opinion isn't particularly good. Opinions are like buttholes, and some just smell worse than others, dear frickin' god. Why would that make it like, more okay? Are you kidding? It, if anything, it's like, it's like both are absolutely horrible. And then you're like, oh my god, let's create the gradient here from like, 
absolutely horrible to absolutely super disgusting. It's like great. Who? It's it's horrible. It all sucks. I've never quite grasped the point of people like this when they like so desperately try to compare two things that are obviously incredibly horrible. And it's like what? Why? Why are you trying to rank stuff by horribleness that are both obviously super horrible? Who cares? We can just acknowledge that everything sucks. Imagine effing a musician and they just start saying what note you're doing the eh in. Ah, eh ing in a minor. San Miguel Sheriff. Large boulder the size of a small boulder is completely blocking eastbound lane highway. Uh, a large boulder the size of what? I, I remember someone explained to me that sometimes news sources do this because it's easier to picture. It's like, oh my god, a boulder the size of a laundry machine. It's like, I know roughly how big a laundry machine is, you know, that kind of stuff. Sometimes it just goes a little wrong, though. Or that one time when there was an asteroid flying by the Earth and like, oh my god, this asteroid the size of 113 camels. <laughs> like, what do you mean? What do you mean 113 camels? I'm supposed to picture that. Frick this pandemic. I miss eating out my friends. Uh, with my friends, what have I done? Oh, yes, indeed. The pandemic limited so many things of our social lives. Life getting better. This tweet has been deleted. Oh, oh, man. Oh, I didn't even get any likes, man. Yeah. Hearing about a violent double homicide in my area. <gasps> Finding out the victims were a straight couple. Yay. Change straight couple for a white couple. Straight white couple. Oh my god, I swear I swear to god, it's so freaking moronic. And what and the next step in this line of logic that I also hate is that I bet you that some freaking overly conservative news source or something is gonna pick this up, like you know, a couple of moron 15-year-olds on Twitter and be like, oh my god, look how how cray cray all the guy is. Oh, this is what they truly want. And it's like, fam, you're sourcing a couple of moronic teenagers on Twitter. Stop. We can acknowledge this is garbage and just not talk about it. I mean, I'm talking about it in a video, but that's because it's stupid and it's funny content. But like, ah, child labor was cool as hell. Just look at this guy. Wow. Probably lived to the ripe age of nine and a half. Great. Good times. Good time. Great. Well, Timmy, things were so much better back when the kids went to the coal mines. They didn't waste their time on some gosh darn Fortnite and died by the ripe age of nine. Beautiful times. I am so upset. Why? What happened? Uh, shut the frick up? Okay, girl, frick you. Stay upset. I hope your day actually gets worse. Like, actually. Ah, uh, look at that. Twitter being wholesome and supportive. Oh my god. Whoever said that Twitter is bad for your mental health? <laughs> Every sane person ever. Toast and oatmeal. Kinda day today. Yum. Mefa eating the food they gave to horses in World War One. <laughs> What a toasted oatmeal! I don't- I don't think they were giving toasted oatmeal to horses. They just give them hay and shite. What? I mean, I suppose some of it comes from, like, similar plants and stuff from the beginning, but- But they don't literally bring toasters with them into the field and be like, Oh my god, my- my horse specifically needs a golden brown, slightly hard toast. What? Leave it all to at Miranda Cosgrove and rock the hashtag KCA orange carpet. Look at that. Wow. She was harder as a child. Sometimes I wonder if humanity has like a disconnect between mouth and brain. Or in this case, between your fingies and brain. Because thou hast typeth et outht on Twittereth. Which doesn't make it better. Because you actually had time to think before posting it. Whereas sometimes a mouth can run off on reflex and say stupid things. You had time before posting this. It's easy. And yet you made it so hard. Today, the student debt crisis reached. Oh my god, that's a lot of- so what's the bajillion, basically? Ha, I just made a payment, so it should have dropped by $275 now. Oh, crisis diverted! Yay! Uh-oh. Ohio dad booked six flights just to join his flight attendant daughter during her Christmas shift. Look at them, they're so happy. Wholesome family vibes. He f***s the planet in the ass. For no reason other than stalk his daughter during the overrated holidays, Mary kiss my ass! <laughs> There's something really funny about incredibly intense, unfiltered rage regarding like really silly and kind of wholesome things. <laughs> it's, a, it's very funny. Hey, what's that 69 emoji in your bio mean? Huh? Oh, this one. This emoji right here, what does that mean? Just gonna have me curious. Cancer. Oh, shut! I'm so sorry. I don't know. How long have you had it? I hope you beat it for real, for real. <laughs> oh, my star sign is 
Literally cancer. Jesus Christ. Personally, I am just rocking that asparagus. <sighs> yes. I don't know. The word black in Spanish still doesn't sit right with me. The fact is that we don't use that word in bad ways. It doesn't matter. Don't say period. You're not black. Bro, it literally means a color. Didn't uh, didn't Twitter try to cancel, what was it, you know, Black Mountain, but in a different language, the first part of that sound, sounds, you know, Monte, and then, you know, the, the stuff, I'm not going to say it out loud because Twitter is going to have a field day. They try to cancel, like, the name of a place that's, like, older than the U.S. because because different languages, and that's the way to solve the world, apparently. <laughs> you can't censor other languages because the US has messed up words. Come on now. Forbes, why Pakistan should be on every solo female traveler's bucket list? Oh my God. Uh, did, did human traffic wreck this? <laughs> yes, Forbes. What about them sponsorships, Forbes? Oh, yes, indeed. Tito, down so bad I'm third wheel in an e-couple. Oh God. Oh, you're just sitting there listening to him. Oh, well, Shampai. Oh, waifu. You are my kawaii. Oh, frick. Check out my Discord. Or don't, but do it. It's a cool place. Oh my god, can these two date already? What? 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 Did you just ship Selena with a K-pop artist? Girl, I swear to god! Oh, yes, indeed. This is my favorite K-pop artist. Mm. Fourth Mr. Beast feastable display destroyed today. Eight more Walmarts to go. Oh yes, that is the way to show Mr. Beast where he can put this chocolate ruin some poor retail worker's day. That's how you do it. Fight the system like a complete little poo. You are tweets about Republicans are unfair. We are not racist. You have been brainwashed. Lol. Whatever you say, man. Mm, monkey. Okay, first off the grammar, like... Come on now, please. Secondly, you make it so easy. Here is text that I can read, but luckily Google can translate it for us. Almighty God, please kill this white demon. <laughs> Day four, I spent 100 hours in the world's poorest country. I mean, the, there's like the Be Mr. Beastification of YouTube, but gone entirely astray. Oh my God. I remember seeing a commentary video about this video. Did he even end up doing anything like good? Or like, I, I don't remember, I think it was just like really weird and bad. Homophobic white supremacists when they see an Asian boy in a maid dress. A wooga wooga. Ah, so many interesting posts on Twitter this day. So indeed, musky husky. Oh, oh my. We don't talk enough about how stressful Halloween costumes are for the ADHD community. Oh my god, you people can't do anything. Okay, let's dig into the replies here, shall we? Because I am a scientist. And God forbid we don't do a scientific study on this. I have ADHD. Halloween costumes are not freaking stressful. This bish high. And here's another reply. She not wrong. Okay, they both have roughly the same amount of likes. Well, how do how do I go? What? All right. My conclusion is that Twitter is completely inconclusive when it comes to to anything. Moving on. And here's another reply. <laughs> Which one should I believe? Ah. <laughs> oh. I swear to God, this feels like if you were to do like a thesis on social media impact on youth, and this is like your source data, and I can just see myself sitting at 4 a.m. in some kind of freaking lab at university just tearing my hair out. Ah, uh, beautiful. Everyone at the doctor's office gathered around for my x-rays because no one has any idea where part of my fibula is just straight up gone. Look at that fibula. Mmm, just missing. Isn't that just sassy? In his latest video, at Mr. Beast gave 20,000 kids in South Africa their first pair of shoes. Let me know when y'all catch up and realize how weird this MF is. So my working theory is everyone is just jealous of his money and the attention it gains. So they're all virtue signaling online why he goes out and actually makes a difference, hence they look bad. I mean, that is actually true, though. M so many people I have seen being genuinely upset about Mr. Beast on various social medias are people who, like, don't actually do anything. They just sit online way too much and whine about what other people do. And like, to be fair, some of the titles and thumbnails in Mr. Beast's most recent videos, they, they do look a little bit odd. But the truth is about charity is that most of the time you have to create some kind of event or hype around it. Like, you remember all those like charity galas, like famous uh, rich people go to it. It's like, oh, we spend a bunch of money on this gala. Like, why couldn't you just donate the money right away? But it's like, you need the marketing, right? Th there has to be a push for charity. There has to be like a game to it and event to it. That's just kind of how the system works, sadly. Uh, in a perfect world, it wouldn't, of course. Money would just, you know, go to charity in, in some magical way, but but in, with how humans work and how society work, there needs to be some hype, there needs to be some build-up for it, and this is what it's come to. So in my mind, it's kind of like 
eh, sure, in a perfect world, you wouldn't need to make content about things to make good things happen. But at the same time, good things actually do happen. So, meh. Lord, forgive me. Milkshake chocolate. Ah! No. Who said Muslim girls can't ride Ferris wheels? Everybody always says that. It's a classic saying. <laughs> Where's the, it's the same kind of thing. You don't think I made up in the beginning of the video? Ah, uh, don't just hate it when, when everyone rams cars with baby strollers. And it's like you get upset about something that isn't real. I'm pretty sure this isn't real. Why does it say that it has 4.35 likes? Is this even a real tweet? I don't know, man. This is so weird. I think I might actually be black. Um, why is that? Just the way I act. I feel very natural and comfortable saying the n-word and stuff. I mean, this feels like some kind of weird niche on Twitter that has, like, found a way around racism, sort of. It's really, really weird. I'm gonna pretend this is the troll tweet, assume that, and move on and be happy. Oh, look, it's little monkey NFT. Don't scroll past this tweet without showing me the most recent picture in your camera roll. And it's an NFT. It's your NFT. Haha. <laughs> I see what he did there. That is very funny. Trigger warning, underage drinking. It gives I'm so fucked up right now. So you manage to spell the trigger warning right, but not the rest of the text that's supposed to be like, the drunk underage texting, oh my god, so quirky. Did you like either write the drunk text on Twitter and then like wait until the next day to write the trigger warning to make sure the trigger warning is correct? Or did you write the trigger warning before getting drunk? Or is this all just BS? <laughs> I need to know. I need to know the lore. It is Femboy Friday, tag a cutie. It is Flat f Friday, you f***ing loser. You flat f Mango, get it today. Oh, it's a good boy. Sorry, Mango. It's just marketing. Nintendo, release a patch where you have to take a little questionnaire on your ethnicity and background so these white people don't have access to the Afro puffs and other cultural hairstyles. <laughs> Smiley. Imagine being six and your Nintendo Switch stars asking what color your skin is. It is very important that Nintendo make sure those freaking six-year-olds know their place in the race game. Ah, John Krasinski fought for the deaf actors to be cast in a quiet place and made sure the whole cast learned sign language on set. Oh, look at that. It's so sweet. Uh, instead of just teaching her English. But it... Oh, no, your brain. I spice. This is not a black woman. Sorry, not sorry. If you make me look dark, you're white. All right, that, that, that's... That's, look at those comments and likes and retweets according to those ratios. And I speak fluent Twitter almost. That take wasn't well received. Light skin, black people are white. I swear to God, Twitter like comes up with the weirdest discourse. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that all this is aliens that are probing humanity for like our social structures and what is going too far. And that the way they can replace humans more smoothly when push comes to shove. That's my conspiracy. It's a very good conspiracy because it let me sleep at night. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed having you here. You beautiful, beautiful bean. And I will see you in the very next video. Take care. Mwah.